Hello, it's the final part of the six o'clock show where Bread 41's Owen Klusky is showing us the secret to creating a sweet Swedish classic. Cinnamon buns, I believe, Owen. Cinnamon bun, it's the, the best dough I've ever made. So it's one dough that does a lot of things. Oh, so okay. I'm excited to show you guys. It'll be our first time using some fresh yeast. So right. the questions will come, what is this? It's fresh yeast. There you go. <laughs> and, he, and you have the answer. <laughs> first answer on the leaving service. Yeah, I was just about to say, it's you deserve to be on the leaving service. It's really cuddly. I'm, yeah. I'm good at this game. Go on, do another one. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's going to have 500 grams of flour. It's going to have uh, one egg. It's uh, little, 50 grams of sugar, 50 grams of butter, 10 grams of salt, and 300 grams of banya. What okay. sort of flour do you want? Uh, always strong, never plain. Never plain. So yeah, what's up, Ray? Uh, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, strong flour. So we have strong, plain, strong, yeah. and then we have self-raising. Okay. So we're always working with strong flour. Good question, though. Thank, thank you. Okay. I'm trying for the. It's the one we've got a couple of bags of it from. Um, was the remember when all the, the the bread was sold out? Yes. We got some for our bread maker. You're panic yeah. buying. All right, okay. You make your own bread, yeah. Yeah. Did you make any? Did you? Yeah. 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 How was it? It was grand, it was grand, yeah. yeah. I like to hear this. I've got a couple of bags left though. Actually, I'll give it to you. You can use yeah, it. No, you can, that was a real interrogation time. there going on. I was <laughs> well, like, the I like eyes. to see people baking. We've got to make more bread. You uh, know? Well, it was, it was a, a bread maker because you, every place was sold out. You couldn't, was it like the Beast from the East? Beast from the East. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, no bread to be had anywhere. So that's some old flour if it's the Beast of the East now. What? It's, that's an old flour. You can have it. I'll, <laughs> I'll give it to you for nothing. So it's yours. Okay, we've got right, we'll go straight flour. in. So what we, are we doing? We've got the flour in. We're going to add, so very simple when baking. Dry ingredients together and then the wet ingredients joins them. So flour in, got the salt, the sugar, all in. You can do this by hand. It is a little bit easier with this, but yeah. definitely by hand. We'll turn this on, not too loud. Then all are wet. And we're literally going to mix this just till it comes together. So when I mean come together, the dry ingredients will come in off the edge of the bowl yeah. and join the wet. So got to go a little bit faster. There we go. I'm just going to drop it down, help it join it there now. What's this yolk? Yeah, this is a professional job, is it? No, it's just a little KitchenAid. KitchenAid. Um, a little mixer. Okay. Yeah. Good for bread making. I've got a bread maker for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one of them as well, actually. I haven't used it in three years. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get everything. Go great. great. Flour. <laughs> I'll do your deal. Okay, now one egg. As it's mixing, there you go. Okay. Straight in. Then the butter, okay? Yeast is, the fresh yeast is going in last, so a little bit of butter. And that is a little bit of butter, okay? And it's you need fresh yeast for this. Yeah, so fresh yeast is just a lot, it's a lot better. You get a lot of response with the dough. You can use a dry yeast, but fresh yeast is available in most good food stores and you will get it in any Eastern European shop because okay. the guys make a lot of bread. That's yeah. what so they make. It's a really it. okay. good trick because people always struggle to get it. So look, the doughs come clean, in with the yeast. Going to mix this for just about 30 seconds and then a little bit of work in this dough that this dough will have to rest for at least an hour before we take the stage two. But we have one we made earlier on. Yes, we go. All right, okay. That's okay. rest for an hour. Yeah, and then it'll do this. So look, it'll double inside. Coming on by the time you're. It can rest for an hour, or you can pop it in the fridge and get it the next day. So it is a really good dough. It's very resilient, and you can work ahead. With bacon, sometimes people say, "Oh, I made it. Took three hours." But again, once you mix this out of the bowl and go straight to the fridge the day after, or an hour ambient. Okay. About 30 minutes now with the weather we're having, which is fantastic. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're. You were saying that you could do other things other than buns. Yeah, so well this is a great, food. great donut dough. We might venture down that road in a while. Okay. Um, make some donuts again. I'm, I'm using cinnamon sugar. It's a crowd pleaser. You said you, you really like flour. You do it. It's so stylish. You put the flour on stylishly. Quanji's going to have a fish when he's eating <laughs> <laughs> I'll text him all as well. <laughs> dough out. Very, very simply. Look, guys, trick with it, with it dough. Just keep moving it. Okay. I won't get stuck to the counter. A right, little bit of a rolling pin. And again, always lifting to move. Right. Now, no right or wrong way. Now, as I said, this can be a donut dough. You can choose any filling you like here. It doesn't have to be cinnamon. It can be almond, raisins, whatever you have. Again, in the press, chocolate chips. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. You're Ready done. to go. Nice. Cinnamon sugar. A little bit of sugar, cinnamon, and some butter whisked. Real smooth. Sugar, cinnamon, okay. butter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The quantities are in the online. The recipe, all in. Palette knife. Makes life easy. Oh. Spread it, here we go. That's very satisfactory. And you'll get a load done now with this, will you? Yeah, this is about an inch from the edges as well is another little tip. So make it easier to roll it up. 
Yeah. I thought you were going to do a picture. I thought it was like Neil from Art Attack there for a second. From <laughs> down. Not Great. that good. Not that good. Great. Great. So, little trick. Pull and hook. And from the outside to the inside. Look. And it will follow you. OK. See that? Uh, and you're it, not sealing that This anyway, is visual ASMR. It's really nice to look at. Um, just the tops off a little bit to the side. And then you're looking for two fingers. OK? Thickness. Two fingers. Yeah. It doesn't have to be exactly, right? One, two. Here we go. All these little guys. I've made a lot of cinnamon buns. Now, we should just say, at home, you're not going to be able to do it as quick as Owen. You will be able to do this, but not as, like, he's professional. Practice makes perfect. You're right, exactly. So, top, another little tip, okay? Pull and tuck. And then, what that allows to do is, it allows the dough, when it's proven, to rise up. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So, again, little pull and tuck. Pull and tuck. Really. So, it's sitting on top of a little fold. Yeah, little fold, okay. like so. Now you can go three across. You want them to batch, so batching is you want them to cook together because you want the top hard and the sides nice and soft. Okay. There you go. So don't be worried about packing don't them in. Don't be worrying, no right want. or wrong way. Pop them like this. Again, here comes a bit more time. 30 minutes before they hit the oven. And this is what you'll see. That's what they'll expand to? Before yeah, so that's what the yeast. Before it goes into the oven, all right. Before okay. it goes into the oven. At okay. this stage, they're good for the oven. Yeah. So we pop them in the oven. So you've got to leave it for a little bit before you put it in. All yeah, right. it, when you come to yeast and stuff like that, it's all about proving. If you, if you just bake them straight away, you're going to get a real tough dough, hard. You'll right. eat it, but it's not great. OK. And then when you take them out of the oven, you pop these guys to the side. Little one I made earlier. Look at those. Oh, my. Oh, Done and look at, oh, look at that. It's like now, a cake. We're going to just dress these guys up. And you see the way they batched really nicely, the cinnamons come up and the little top is lifted. This yeah. is what we're looking for. So, They're lemon quite juice. Big. I expect them to be much smaller. They really fill out the tin, yeah. don't they? Good mm -hmm. size. Mm. Um, lemon, lemon juice, and some icing sugar. So I'm just icing them very simply. Okay, lemon juice and icing sugar. Yeah, now, one lemon, a couple of tablespoons of icing sugar till you get the consistency. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the fun part. Oh, fab. These Again, are delicious. Anything you have in the press, guys. Chocolate. There's only six that have been done. Almonds. It's only Just six. Trying to think. Be, be an arm wrestle after this. This is going to be. <laughs> this is going to be a feeding frenzy. This is going to be vicious. Socially distanced viciousness. Trying to get one of these afterwards. And very simply, the cinnamon roll done and dusted. Lads, how good do they look? These are Owen Klosky from Bread 41s. His cinnamon rolls. Come on. Thank you so Come much. On. I think you're going to have to cut them into very small pieces for very everyone. Very small pieces. Guys, you make them at home, let me know how you get on. Any questions, shoot me a message on Instagram. You can on Instagram, you can you. find them there. And tag them. Tag them if you make them. Uh, the full uh, recipe is on Six Eats to a Google League. Six Eats, it's there. all there. Yeah, you absolutely.